Hey, a question for Quinn. Um, your team appears to be playing much better defensively since the end of the Eastern road trip. Um, what do you attribute that to is, 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 and how much of that is, is structural or tactical versus maybe just an increased level of urgency uh, given where you guys are in the standings? Yeah, I think all of it, just we want to win. So, um, you know, we're trying to get better in that, in that end. And I think we have been. Um, we're not giving a lot up, so that's good. And it's helping us, you know, um, win and, and uh, be in the game. So for us, we're, we're right there and we just got to keep, keep going. Thank you. Okay, next up is Ian McIntyre. Morning, guys. Uh, Quinn, I know you um, you had your uh, Connor McDavid moment, the first game you ever played in this league, uh, starting against him. Um, what does what does he pose as a challenge compared? Like, where does he rank in in terms of a de defenseman facing a guy? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best in the league, and everyone knows it. And he's been. You know, right, you know, right since he came in the league, he's been one of the best. So um, I think he's going to get his chances. He's too good of a player not to. And for us, we just got to do, you know, as good of a job as we can to limit how many he gets. And then, um, you know, I think as a five-man unit, you got to know when he's out there. And you might have to think defensive on that shift when you're out there. And um, so, I mean, he, it's he's fun to play against. And he's one of the best. And, um, you know, it should be fun fun game tonight and Brock uh, how hard is it or is it hard to stay positive as a team now that you're playing better uh, obviously the last seven games but not getting the results yeah um, it, it can definitely be hard at times to stay positive but um, you know I think we all feel in the room that we're playing better and we're, we're right there and um, you know I think we've done a lot better job defensively not giving other teams a lot of chances and, you know, working together to break the puck out um, cleanly. And, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of bearing down and getting these wins. Um, you know, there's just some small details, um, you know, in some of these games that we lose that um, cost us the game. And, you know, I think if we take care of those, we're going to string a few wins together. And, uh, you know, that's something we really need right now. All right, we'll go to Ben Kuzma. Uh, one for each of you guys. Uh, Quinn, Travis talked earlier about uh, the power play, especially PP1, and it being a partnership and the fact that you guys have as much input as Travis or, or Newell Brown. Uh, your key component to it, how important is that to you? And where do you think that guy who's sitting beside you should be deployed? Um, for me, I, you know, uh, you know, we listen to new, we listen to, you know, Green and, um, you know, we talk with, with ourselves and uh, especially with these three game series or four game series or whatever it is, you know, um, you know, they're going to make adjustments. So we have to make adjustments. So for Brock, uh, he, he can play in a couple different areas and, you know, that helps our power play. And, um, you know, we might show them something different in game two than we do in game one. And I think that's just the way it's going to be because, you know, we're with these back to back. So. Um, we'll talk before the game and figure it out and adjust to what their uh, penalty kill is doing and then um, see what we need to do. Uh, for you, Brock, it's easy for us to get fixated <laughs> on the fact that you're second in goals, uh, ninth in points, and your shooting percentage is doubled from last year. But uh, you're also a better player away from the puck. I know last year was a learning experience for you, Brock, but how much of a better player do you think you are right now than you were a year ago, and how does that trans in, uh, transition into offense? Yeah, I mean, you know, personally, I, I still think I had a pretty good year last year, and, um, you know, then you learn some things, and, um, you know, uh, even in the playoffs, I thought I played hard and was really focused on the 200-foot game and thought I did a good job of that, and, um, you know, this year, I think I've kind of picked up where I left off, and obviously, I'm feeling really well. I feel like I'm skating well out there, and that's just allowed me to uh, you know, back pressure harder, you know, not get as tired quickly. Um, you know, even even the commitment in the D zone. Um, you know, I think our whole line. Um, you know, I think we've been all right. I think we can get better, but um, just to break pucks out cleanly and 
um, spend more time in the ozone. I think that's something that our line feels that we can be better at. I don't think we've um, uh, done it, done a good enough job uh, so far. And, uh, you know, we feel we need, we need to be the difference makers each and every night. And, um, you know, I think we're close, but we're not just there yet. Just a quick follow on that, Brock. How much easy is it to, to stay focused in the ozone in a defensive manner? Because some of your goals have come from being in the right position, not cheating, not doing a breeze by. There's a turnover and boom, you're on the puck. Is that, is that easier to reinforce it when that results in goals, the fact that you're better without the puck? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, just kind of sticking to our systems and just kind of knowing where, our, like me, Mil Millsy and PD are on the ice and on the four check. Um, you know, we got to, you know, if one guy goes at the puck, we, we got to make sure that the other guy's recovering and just kind of working together as a five man unit, even when the D comes down. So, uh, you know, I think it all comes together and, um, you know, we've done a better job of it as, as of late and uh, we need to keep it going. We'll take our next question from Farhan Lalji. Quinn, I'll start with you, but both of you guys can, can chime in on this um, just because you see a lot of time with them, 5-on-5 five five and on the power play. But uh, what have you noticed in PD's game the last couple of weeks just in terms of his aggressiveness, uh, both carrying the puck but also with the shot? Um, I mean, PD's one of the best players in the league, and, you know, he's going to do his thing. And he's been playing really good for us the last couple of weeks and the whole season, I think, and – just because, you know, at the start, the points weren't coming doesn't mean he wasn't trying or playing good or wasn't aggressive, in my opinion. So um, he's got a, a lot of internal feel and he wants to be one of the best. So you know that he's going to push himself. And, um, you know, last game he was, he was great. And we're going to keep needing that, you know, for the rest of the year. Yeah, I mean, uh, Petey's a driver of this team. And, um, you know, when he has a puck on his stick, he makes plays. And. Um, you know, whether, you know, he's carrying up the ice and it, it draws three guys to come to him and then he kicks it out, uh, you know, it opens up ice. And, uh, you know, I think PD sees that and he feels he needs to hold on to pucks more and make more plays. And I think you've seen him do that over the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, gain, giving him confidence. And, um, you know, I think last game was huge for him and it's just going to he's going to keep building off of it. And Quinn, apologies if you've been asked this already, but just the challenges of dealing with a guy like McDavid and his speed in the offensive zone. Yeah, it's really hard. I think because probably he's most dangerous off the rush. You know, he comes with so much speed and he comes low and um, it's hard for the defenseman to gap up on him. Or even if you do have a good gap, it's hard to stay with him because he's so fast. So I think his rush game is probably, you know, his most dangerous, but he's he's really good everywhere in the ozone. And um, we're going to have to pay attention to that and, like I said earlier, it's, it can't just be, you know, me and my defense partner or Eddie and Schmitty, whoever it is. It's got to be, you know, the forwards out there, the five-man unit, everyone knowing, you know, sticking together, knowing what they're doing. I think, you know, we've been doing a good job at that. As, as I said earlier, like, we haven't been giving up as many um, scoring chances. So we just got to keep going. Thanks. Okay, we'll take one more here from Jay Janauer. Brock, you mentioned how well that you feel. I'm curious, is this the best that you felt in a season in quite some time? I mean, watching you shoot the puck and skate, this is the best you've looked since probably your rookie year. We know the injuries that you've had, but how good do you feel right now and, and how paramount has your health been for you? Yeah, it's been tough. I mean, it's probably the best I've felt since my first year. Um, I mean, you know, just getting injuries from injuries from the back injury and you know, they just keep lingering and stuff. It's uh, it's harder than you, you guys think, and um, it's frustrating at times, but um, it, it definitely feels good to, you know, be feeling good on the ice right now and, um, you know, scoring some goals where, you know, I'm, I'm, I might have not scored last year, and, um, you know, I think that's just where I get my confidence back, and, um, you know, I feel it's back, and, um, you know, that's why I, you know, every, each and every game, I'm I'm ready to go and excited for. And um, but other than that, I think uh, you know, I I think I've said this a lot lately that um, you know I want to be producing and be a difference maker each and every night and help this team win. And um, you know, lately, uh, you know, we feel we, we've been playing better as a team, but um, it's 
it's definitely uh, something that, you know, me and the top guys feel that we need to be better at and, and uh, be difference makers and, and help this team win. Lastly, Quinn, as hockey fans, we get to appreciate your guys' skill. We also get to appreciate that of Connor McDavid and, and Leon Dreisaitl. What don't we get to appreciate watching that homer up in the stands that you guys get to see on ice level? I mean, it just seems like he's always operating at warp speed, but what is it that, that you've noticed? Um, I mean, he's, he's so smart. He's got a lot. He's pretty much, he's got everything. He can skate. He's got hockey sense and um, he makes these quick little plays and him and uh, Leon are obviously unreal together. And um, I think his mind, he's just, you know, everyone talks about his skating, but you know, he's so smart too and clever. And um, so, you know, like you said, it should be a fun game for everyone to watch and um, he's going to do his thing. We're going to try to do our thing and, um, you know, we'll see what happens. We need a win tonight.